Hi, I'm Martin Kendra Matomo, nursing student of the Zerizal Memorial State University of Maine Thompson. And today I'll be assessing skin, hair, and nails. Hi, I'm Mark Christian James Tomo, and I will be your student nurse for today. I, um, I will be assessing your skin, hair, and nails. And before we proceed, ma'am, can I have your name? Christine Malapa. Your age? Thank you. And your date of birth? March 8th. Okay, so today, ma'am, I'm going to assess you with respect and palpate your skin, hair, and nails. And so this process, I may be requesting you to show a bit of your skin. I'll be touching your skin to check the temperature, the texture, and I'll be checking your hair scalp if there is abnormality. And don't worry, ma'am, all the findings are confidential. Okay, so first we begin to the inspection of your overall skin colorization. Okay, the skin color is light brown and they are even in color. Now I'm going to expect for skin lesion. Okay, I didn't find any scratches, cuts, or M6 bites in her skin. So, and it has no signs also of vascularity, bleeding, or bruising. And it has no signs na relate to injury, cardiovascular, hematologic, or liver dysfunction. Now, I'm going to palpate her skin. And palpating, I'll be using the back of my finger because it is more sensitive to temperature. Okay? Okay, the skin is warm and it has a good amount of moisture and it is soft also. Next is to assess the patient's skin turgor. Okay, ma'am, I'm going to pinch your skin under the baby cold. And this technique, ma'am, provides information about the patient's hydration status and it is also and also for mobility elasticity of your skin and decrease of elasticity mom may present for dehydrated patient and okay now i'm going to pinch the skin okay it is easy to pinch mom it means your skin has a good mobility and you have a good hydration status and when I list it when go back to the original position it means you have a good torgor and now I'm going to palpate the edema and the edema it is a swelling caused by a fluid trap in the body tissue and it may be result for overhydration heart failure kidney dysfunction or peripheral vascular disease and mostly, edema is located 
in the ankle. And now I'm going to palpate the ankle of my patient. Okay, can I have your ankle, ma'am? And also the other one. Okay, it has no signs of dilemma. Now, next is I'm going to inspect the nail condition of my patient. Okay, can I have your nails, ma'am? Okay, your nails is round in shape. They are pink in color. Consistent and well attached to the nail bed. Okay, and can you do like this ma'am for the clubbing? Okay, and now can you show me your feet? I will inspect your nails also. Okay, it is well grown, well trimmed, and also it is round in shape and pink in color. And now I'm going to palpate your nails. Okay. Okay, your nail mom is smooth and it is hard, which means normal. And I'm now I'm going to pinch this when the blood returns in maybe two seconds. Okay, it means normal. Now I'm going to inspect and palpitate, palpate rather your hair and scalp. And before that. I will wear my gloves first. Okay, let's start, Mom. Okay. They are in good condition and equally distributed. And your scalp map is clean. And your hair is thick, and there is no lesions found in your head, and also your scalp is in good condition. Okay, all the findings, ma'am, are normal. Okay, and now I will be removing my gloves to avoid contamination of other items, and also I will be putting a alcohol for hand hygiene.